Hello, this is Nestor Tilson here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the new DXF import functions of Polyboard 6. When setting up projects and free from cabinets, it's possible to import a polyline made in another CAD program like AutoCAD, DraftSight, SketchUp, or any other program that will write polylines. Now, this is a really neat function that will make it easy to import floor plans, curved walls, irregular shaped cabinets, and maybe you will even find other uses for it. Here we have an example of a curved reception desk fitted against a curved wall. The curved front is set up with an inclined curve and the wood designer logo has been applied as an inner tooling on the front. Now this type of furniture is now easy to set up with Polyboard 6 using the DXF import function and the different freeform function for making the cabinet. You'll have to note though that the Polyboard import DXF function will actually convert curved sections into segments. So let's go over to new polyboard project and see how we do this. So here we are in a new project in polyboard. Let's go over to the surface edit area, click right, and we can see that there are two commands here called import floor and import wall. Let's import floor. So if I click import floor and I'll just show you the floor plan that we're going to try and use, which is actually this floor plan, which is a very simplified floor plan coming out of draft site. So we have here a surface area, which is a polyline, which is the floor. We have another surface area, which is a polyline for the inside of the wall, polyline for the outside of the wall, and we have a polyline for the plan of our cabinet or our reception desk. This is the DXF that we're going to import into our project. I'm going to click OK. And now we can see that the import DXF function has actually analyzed the layers. And what we want to do here is we want to import the floor. So here we have a polyline for the floor. If I click on it, it will put the floor in red and I'm going to click OK and that will actually import the floor. I might not see it straight away on the screen because we don't know exactly where the 0, 0 position is. But if I just click adjust a window, we will see that our floor appear. If I click on it, I can see the parameters over here of our floor, just an ordinary surface. So here we have a floor with the texture applied. Let's now import the walls. I'm going to click right again and import a wall. So I'm going to take the same file. At this time, I'm going to select polylines that represent the walls. The walls are represented by two lines, which are the end lines here, close the wall, and a polyline on the outside, polyline on the inside. Let's just import the inside polyline. And now Polyboard has imported polyline as a wall. Let's change the color as well. Let's put it gray and let take away the texture. And let's have a look what that looks like. Here we have the wall and the floor. Now let's import our bit of furniture. I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to go into the furniture list, click right. I'm going to create a new bit of furniture. This bit of furniture, we're going to create it from a free shape and I already have a bit of furniture. That was the last bit of furniture I was making. Let's go into the free shape edit function. Click on the DXF import. Take the plan of my bit of furniture, which is in fact the floor plan with the furniture on it. And now I'm going to go into the layer, which is furniture layer. Click OK and Polyboard will now import the shape, the plan shape of the bit of furniture that we have actually drawn in AutoCAD. Now we can see that Polyboard has actually imported the shape, the DXF shape, and the arcs have been made into segments and it's made quite a lot of segments around these little arcs. Before we actually validate this bit of furniture, let's get rid of some of the segments so that we don't have too many segments. That will make our Polyboard file a bit lighter and it'll be easier to manage. So I'm just taking away one out of every two segments along this line here so that we have a, a, a certain number of facets. The actual shape will be slightly less smooth, but it will be easier to manage. What we also have to keep in mind that Polyboard is imported in the DXF file lines. Polyboard doesn't yet know what these lines represent. So if I click on this line, we can see that it's got no type. And we have to click on the line, select them, and give them a qualification of a type of panel that it represents for Polyboard. So if I click on this line here, and I say I want, for instance, to be a front, and then I can click on the side lines here, and with Control, select them all. And now let's just say that all these segments here, we want them to be the back of our furniture, so it will be the actual front of our reception desks. And I have to go over the each different segment and qualify it before Polyboard will know what to actually do with that line. 
and I have to do the same of course on the other side on the other curves as well there's a lot of segments on this because this this particular reception desk is quite big so let's get just get rid of all these different points the same way as we did the other points and sort of simplify our model now we've reduced the number of points segments and we've qualified all our different segments and polybod will actually create the shape so i click ok the shape of our cabinet now has appeared in its elevation view here and i can actually drag it onto my my project clip it into place and look at our project in 3d now this shape can be actually worked with in exactly the same way as any other bit of furniture now so i can click on it and we can just add for instance a plinth elevation we can add plinths and plinths can be added at a certain distance say 100 millimeters back don't so you have to add a plinth on every segment so we are all the back segments and now we have our plinth added and if we save our bit of furniture our project now looks like this we now only have to have the worktop and our project is well underway